Hey everybody. So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our Divine Feminines. All right. So all of our DF, Empress, High Priestess energy only. If you in any way at all identify as a Divine Masculine Hunty, you can go ahead and get that because this reading right now is not for you. All right. Okay. Yes, Spirit. Spirit says light the Palo up. I sure will. Don't mind if I do. We know this is my favorite. Okay, pay no never mind to the cards being upside down because I'm going to read them in the upright. I don't read these cards reversed. Reverse, reverse. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Hmm. <laughs> I just hear cha cha real smooth. <laughs> All right, so let us see. Go to work. All right, <laughs> my boo, please carry on. All right. Whoa, what are the messages? Challenges. What else is old? Embrace. I feel like that's where you and your twin are. You're ready to embrace each other. You know. You have clarity now. What it is it you want to do? You've learned a lot through this connection. You learned a lot from each other. From other situations in life that you've had to deal with. And now you're just, you're ready to express love. Okay, you're ready to... Hmm... Yeah, that's basically what it is. You're ready to express love and, you know, let it be known how you're feeling. That's what I feel from clarity. Let it be known how you're feeling. Let this person know what's been going on with you. You know, yeah, we got Queen of Cups, Three of Pentacles. They're going to be doing the same. Okay, so this feels really good. Mutual energy here. Seven of Swords, Will of Fortune, strategizing. How are we going to overcome the challenges? Right? Let us see. Six of Cups. Releasing the past. You, it's like you fill each other's cup, okay? You fill each other's cup. It's some sort of transformation. Your masculine is going through a tough time when it comes to forgiving something from the past or letting go of something from the past. However, they understand in order to manifest new reality with you, they have to let that go. Or this is you. Eight of Cups, emotional withdrawal, detaching. In order for you two to see progress in the connection, there's something that you feminine are going to have to let go of from the past. And there is something that they are going to have to do as far as their shadow.
at any point in time where either you or them allow anything to stand in the middle of your connection I feel like both parties are just realizing that's something they don't want to do anymore they don't want to allow people who are not inside of the connection to have any control or like dictatorship over what happens inside of the connection ace of swords could be a conversation that they want to have with you because they've thought about something and they've come to this conclusion when it comes to dealing with you and the connection that they have with you, they would much rather you all deal with that personally. You have Four of Wands. Four of Wands is coming into union. Ace of Pentacles is my engagement ring. This person, when they think of you, they think of long term. They think of marriage. They feel like you are home for them. So your twin is aiming to return home. However, in order to do so, there are some things that are going to have to happen first with you, with them, in order to see a, a real transformation. Yeah, temperance and strength. And in divine timing. Okay. You know how God is omnipresent? Okay. <clears throat> God is omnipresent. God is everywhere. Always with us. Our angels are guides. Some of them may have other people that they're also guiding and protecting and different things like that, right? And everything's already been written. So just because we want something to happen right now doesn't mean that it has to happen right now. It's going to happen when it's meant to happen. According to the bigger picture, everything and everyone that is involved. Four swords, and I feel like you have peace of mind. Knowing this, Ace of Cups. But if you're like, when is it coming or how can I manifest it sooner? Because you know it's coming. It's just a matter of when and how can I bring it in sooner. It's not a, a sooner type of thing. This is like a, you can't rush healing, right? So they're healing something with shadow and inner child. You're healing something with inner child and shadow, whichever way it goes. And that's not something that's overnight. Oh, yep, I'm going to start the shadow healing. All right, pool, me and my twin going to meet together next week. That's not how it works. So nine of pentacles, single, independent. Okay, so I don't feel like your person is with someone. Okay, we have the empress. They're single, you're single. You know, ten of cups, nine of wands, someone... Could have been in a situation, like a family situation, because Ten of Cups is family and home life. Could have been, doesn't have to be, but the Nine of Wands is just being tired. The Empress is here, okay? The Empress is also just a mother, not just, but is also a mother figure, um, an entrepreneur, a wife, okay? I can't say just, but outside of divine feminine energy those other things there's nothing <laughs> only like oh she's only alone not like that we all know that if you're a mother you know better honey you're often nine of wands <laughs> all right but the ten of cups is like you have to keep going you know for the sake of your family or there's something like that going on Let us see. Let's go around. All right. Six of Cups. Home. Twin Flame. See? Cozy, warm, secure. You feel at home with each other. That's just the reality of the situation. 
you feel understood, you feel heard, you feel valued, you feel appreciated, you feel like someone gets it, okay? Someone gets you. That card, Queen of Pentacles, fresh start is what they're wanting. Transformation, rebirth, new opportunity, release the past, feminine. You know, they're in regret enough. They feel bad enough about whatever happened in the past. Anything or anyone that they allowed to get in between the two of you. You don't have to keep beating them in the head with it. Yeah, remorse, life regrets, loss. Start making empowered choices. Balance. With making empowered choices, they're going to bring more balance into the connection. Yin and yang, darkness and light. Stay centered in your higher self. If my tone sounds a little bit different right now, you all should know why. Those of you who have been here for a while, those of you who are new, it's earlier in the morning. Earlier in the morning is when it is most quiet and peaceful, and I just like to keep it that way. <laughs> I enjoy it before the day gets busy, you know? See, unawakened and ego. So that could be a block, right? Mirroring. You're mirroring each other. One person could be unawakened, you know that, so don't operate out of ego. It's just that simple. A person can't do better prior to knowing better. They did not know. So don't punish them as if they knew. They didn't. Okay? You want to manifest it? Stop beating them up. Yeah, we got mirroring, offer, sacred journey. So we got the eight of cups here. Okay. Let's see. Split energy. Control. Mm. I'm seeing something now, you guys. Crossroad and summer. I'm seeing why you are operating with this ego energy. Okay. Your person, coffee's kind of cold now. One second, y'all. Go get me a little bit more on top. Top it off. Make it warm. One second. Okay, so as we were, I'm seeing why, feminine, you have been operating the way you have been operating. So it may come off to your person as if you're operating out of ego, and it may come off as if you're being prideful. However, it's not really that. It's the fact that this person continuously gives the energy of being in split energy is what I'm seeing. Or being at a crossroad. Again, they have to be ready to make empowered choices. Your twin, they're not ready yet. They're not ready yet. Okay? They aren't. So... I would give them space and I this is like my second time saying this today people are like what do you mean blue because it's happening already release the need to control situations it's already happening so there's no need in you you know over thinking it four of wands yeah intuitive communication you are connected at the soul level you know this already, okay? They feel alone without you, but they have to do this alone. They have to come up with a creative, empowered way of making this transformation happen. Bringing in this new beginning. Okay, so we have fall here, and we have hidden path, all right? Changes in the air. Go in a new direction. Sacred journey. That's the direction they're going to go in. With going in that direction, it leads to marriage with you and your person. Okay. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, transformation. A huge breakthrough. Okay. Sacred space. I feel like in the meanwhile, you're communing with your own divinity and trusting that all things happen in divine timing. Being patient, okay, trust in spirit, yeah, balance. You know that balance will be restored in the connection. This person is not in denial about that fact. You know, some of them feel like they have settled because anything outside of my divine counterpart, what I know what that could be like, is settling. 
So yin and yang, darkness and light, stay centered in your higher self, okay? They're learning to remember who they truly are. All right? But always remember, you feel like home to this person. So if this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hug.